Hello there, uh, on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up our CNC router which is the TS30. Uh, so we're going to set it up on the screen, I'm going to show you how to set the cutter up, uh, set the depth of the cutter and then we're just going to do a very simple cut. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is turn the machine on. Uh, when we turn the machine on the bed will come to the view position which means that it will, it will move forward. Now this bed at the moment has been set up for, for another job but what we're going to do is to uh, just stick a piece of acrylic here and just do a very simple engraving. So the idea is just to show you how to set up the machine ready to go. So to begin with if we go over to the, uh, the computer we need to set the screen up to match the bed of the, uh, the TS30. So you go to Setup, Drawing, Layout and there we have match current printer which is the Roland TS30 press OK so that now matches the the bed of the uh, the router so we're just gonna do a very simple engraving of the letter S so I'm going to bring it down here I'm also gonna zoom in uh, and just show you what we're going to do. Now at the moment uh, that S has been drawn in black and I want to engrave on the inside so I'm going to contour it um, with a one millimeter contour. Now the reason why I'm doing one millimeter is that it needs to be the radius of the cutter. Now the cutter we've got in there at the moment is two millimeters so if I contour on there you can see we've actually got a line on the inside. Now that's black. I'm going to undo that and change it to a different colour. So I'm going to change it to blue. So there we contour in blue and I want to engrave all the way, the way in like so. OK. So the next thing to do is to set up the machine with the material. So uh, this is the material we're going to use. We're just going to engrave a, a piece of acrylic. Um, I'm going to stick it down using double sided tape. Now I've tried out lots and lots of different types of double sided tape. The only one that really works is the one that you can buy from Techsoft. Um, I'm not on commission here but it, it really is the only one that works. Unfortunately it's quite expensive so you need to keep it just for this purpose. Um, any other type of double sided tape you just can't get off uh, after you finish and you end up with a goo and you start scraping it and it's uh, a real bother. So Texsoft tape, I'm going to place it down in the bottom right hand corner, just push that down so that's now ready to go. Uh, now I'm going to take out the cutter to show you, we've got our 2mm cutter in here, uh, you've got a locking collar at the top and the bottom, you only need to undo the one at the bottom for the moment because the one at the top is uh, basically a depth stop. If I just take that out to show you. So there's the cutter. We've got our collar at the top here. Uh, we've got our grub screw which we use with our, with our Allen key. Uh, it's worth checking just to make sure that you have got a brass grub screw in there because when you buy the machine it normally comes with a steel one. And the problem with that is every time you nip it up, you, uh, you pit your cutter, which after a while uh, you, you lose its uh, centricity and it, will, it won't cut right. So uh, make sure you've got a nice uh, brass grub screw in there. So I'm just going to pop my cutter in and I'm going to leave it loose for the moment, just while I get the machine set up. So I'm going to put the lid down, back to the computer. So we're going to go to File. CNC output, okay, computer numerical control because it's a CNC machine, uh, and we're ready there with the, the TS30. If I go to tools, uh, we're just going to check this. Now I've got the color blue there already because I want to engrave the blue. If I wanted to change that color, I just go into edit and I can change the color up here, but blue is the right color. Uh, we need to set some parameters here. Now the final depth of cut, I'm going to have a one millimeter engraving, so uh, that's on one at the moment. It doesn't default to one, so you're going to need to change that. So that's all okay. Uh, down here with the tool parameters, 
Uh, the things that you need to look at here is the maximum depth per pass. Now I'm doing a depth of one millimetre, but for the cutter to do that in one go it's just too much. So I'm going to do it uh, at 0.5, so that's half a millimetre. So it's going to do two runs, because each run is going to be half a millimetre. Uh, tool diameter is one millimetre. Uh, vertical feed rate uh, is, is set to 15, so it's going to plunge at quite a speed. Horizontal feed rate is, is 20, which is quite high. Uh, I suggest you do it about 10. The reason why I've increased it here is because uh, I don't want the tutorial video to go on for too long. So if we press OK, and then press OK down here. Output. Now before it, uh, it cuts you need to set the, the tool to the right depth and you can see on this graphic here you've got an X and Y uh, and you've also got the Z and the Z is the depth stop. So uh, just trial and error at the moment, um, I'm going to change this to uh, uh, 65 and move tool to the correct point. Now I've got 10 and 10 there so it's going to move in 10 the X and Y here, so it's going to move in 10 here, 10 there, and then it's going to plunge down 65. Now we need to keep that loose, because if I've got that wrong, we, what we don't want to happen is for the tool to plunge into the, the acrylic. So uh, I'm just leaving it loose for the moment. Move to set point. Click the view to get it into the right position. Okay, tool's coming down 65 now. Now what you need to do is to undo the top one. Okay, so they're both loose now. And you're just going to drop the cutter down so that it's resting on the surface of the material. Now some people put a piece of uh, uh, paper underneath or tracing paper just so that you get clearance. Uh, there's no need to actually do that. You actually want the tool to be on the surface. So that's sitting there nicely make sure the top locking colour uh, collar is down, nip that up with the allen key on both of them. Okay, so if you need to do uh, the engraving again, if I was to take that cutter out by just undoing the bottom one, as long as I don't upset the top one, I know that that is the correct depth. So when you're changing cutters for different purposes, you can leave the depth stops on. Okay, so that's all ready to go now. So I'm going to press output here and it just gives you a little bit of a warning to say are you ready, are you sure you want to go for it. Uh, if you're happy with everything you press continue and then what's going to happen is it's going to engrave the blue uh, and because it's a depth of one millimetre and each pass is half a millimetre it's, uh, it's going to do it twice. So if I press continue, cutter speeds up. going a lot quicker than we would we would want but as I say we just need to have it quite quick for the demonstration. First cut, now it's doing the second cut, so it's now going down to one millimetre depth. it finished so the tool raises up and it naturally comes to the view position so you can have a look to make sure that you're happy with it. I'm just going to wait till it stops before I lift the lid. And if I can get the 
parts off. Okay, I don't know whether you can see that in the light. So that's the S that's been engraved to a depth of one millimeter. So that tutorial shows you how to set up the TS30, setting up the cutter and doing a cut. Okay, thanks for listening.